Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Travis Christie. Well, Monday looks to be a pretty warm day, but we've got a big storm system on our hands. That's going to be rolling on in as we head on into tomorrow evening and Tuesday. So we're going from the 60s and 70s and even a few 80s to 60s and 50s to our north. A chance for some showers in the northeast, even some higher elevated snow showers up around Santa Fe. We're talking probably the Sangre de Cristos more or less for those shower chances and those snow showers. As far as the rest of the week is concerned, we could continue to see some showers through at least Friday. Thank you, Travis. Two small kids wandered away from a family gathering in Vado yesterday afternoon. Both ended up drowning in a pool of rainwater they collected behind their home. When the kids' father noticed the kids were missing, family members started searching the neighborhood. 20 minutes later, the father saw his daughter floating face down in a large pool of standing water. He and a neighbor pulled the kids out and administered CPR, but it was too late. Five year old Michelle Marmalejo and her three year old brother Brandon were pronounced dead at the hospital. The Doniana County Sheriff's Department is investigating. San Juan County Sheriff's deputies are investigating the death of a drunk pedestrian hit by a car and killed while darting across a dark highway. It happened Friday night on US 550 south of Bloomfield, just outside a convenience store. 24 year old Jaron Atencio of Lindbrook died at the scene. Deputies say he had been drinking. Relatives were trying to find him a ride home when he got hit by a car while running across the highway. The driver, 18 year old Chris Gus, also of Lindbrook, was not hurt. Gus had not been drinking. A man who claims he survived a fatal DWI crash is now in jail, charged with DWI. 31 year old Anthony Macias was arrested yesterday. Albuquerque police say he was driving drunk on I 40 and eventually crashed into a curb at the Wantabo exit. Macias told police he had survived a fatal crash back in 2002 and stopped drinking until this weekend. News 13 archives show a man named Anthony Macias survived this fatal crash at Zuni in Central in July of 2005. The car was packed with beer. Macias was not the driver that night. Two of his friends died at the scene. Anthony Macias is a repeat drunk driver. He is now charged with DWI fourth offense. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.